I'm Chris. I'm excited to be back here with Horizon at Home. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make wrapping paper. So here's an example of a piece of wrapping paper that I made. Uh, and then behind is another one uh, on both sides here. But they turned out so well that I actually keep them as works of art. So if you make a wrapping paper and you find that it's really cool and you want to frame it, that's great too. Now, all of this is inspired by an artist who I really like named Jackson Pollock. Uh, and this is one of his works called Convergence. This is also a thousand piece puzzle that I'm working on that's driving me insane. Now here are the materials you need for this project. First, you're gonna to wanna to start with some sort of paper. Either if you have some craft paper at home or some um, butcher's paper, any sort of wrapping paper, that would work great. Uh, I found this at the dollar store. You could also order it online. Um, if you have any wrapping paper that's old wrapping paper, you could use the back of it. That's all great. The next thing you're gonna need is some sort of paint. So I have these acrylic paints in, uh, in my house and those will work just fine. Any sort of paint you have is gonna be great. The next thing you need is something to apply the paint with. So that's gonna be some brushes if you have them, that's great. Maybe you have some old toothbrushes that you're not using anymore or some sort of other art tools. You can even use a pencil or maybe even a fork or a spoon, something from the house that you don't need anymore. Next, you'll need a palette. So if you have an actual palette for your paint at home, great. If not, you can use an old egg carton like I am. Next, you need some jars. These are so that they can hold the water and the paint. You're gonna find that as you're doing the project, you need to add a little water to your paint to give it the right splatter. So those come in handy for that. Now this does get a little bit messy. So if you need to, if you're doing this in your house, you might wanna get some drop cloths or a sheet or something that you can put down to protect your floors and the furniture around your work area. I'm gonna be doing mine outside, so I don't need to reuse that for myself today. So those are pretty much the tools that you need. Since I'm gonna be working outside, I taped my paper to this board so that it wouldn't blow away. So like I said, this can be a bit of a messy project, so make sure that the clothes that you're wearing can get messy too. dry overnight and here's what I got. This one over here was a technique that I didn't film um, but it's when I used a water bottle and while the paint is still wet you spritz it with a water bottle and then you hold it upright and let the water run down so you get this kind of drippy effect, this kind of rainy effect. Now on this one uh, the paint's actually an oil-based paint. It's a little bit thicker when it dries so this might be one you would rather keep as a work of art then turn it into actual wrapping paper. And the reason for that is because when you're wrapping it around a box uh, or a present, uh, the paint is gonna chip. It's gonna start peeling off of the paper and ruining the effect. Uh, what I like to do is use the simpler designs, the stuff that's more of the splatter and the spots, and that wraps around the box much easier. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you have fun at home making some wrapping paper of your own. See you next time!